mix salt and sand by 3 a.m. and receive immediate miracle. Do this barefooted by 3 a.m. and the result will shock you. Have you tried all strategies you know to solve your spiritual problem or any problem you have be it financial problem be it marital problem be it health issue be it family problem be it childbearing problem and you have tried all your possible strategies meet all men of god you know do a spiritual work you know in order to solve that particular problem it seems that that problem has defiled solution by god's grace if you follow me to the end of today's video that problem will receive solution especially if the problem you are suffering is a spiritual one orchestrated by wicked and evil dangerous men who actually don't want you to enjoy your peace if only you will follow me to today's video by god's grace that's the solution to that problem will be at your beck and call so please before then give this video a thumbs up to help it reach those that also need it welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i'll discuss three important variables which actually help safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do it to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that you too will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timers, if you are searching for any video, all you need to do is go through the search button in YouTube, type Jenny Action TV slash the keyword of the video you are looking for. For example, Breakthrough. You get all the videos I've made in the past regarding that concept. You watch and get some values. So without actually wasting your time, let's delve into the video of today. The items you actually needed for this special breakthrough prayer and this special breakthrough spiritual work is actually one original honey original fan made honey the second item you actually need is sand the third item you need is actually salt then you need your bible because we will be warring with psalm 109 at exactly 3 a.m in the morning you need to set alarm wake up between 3 to 5 a.m. is always the time the angels of the living God goes around in the entire universe distributing blessings. Even if you couldn't pray midnight prayers, please don't always miss this period because that is the period you can actually table your case to the king of glory, direct your case to your guardian angel who will go to, to the almighty God and then connect to the universe and bring you solution. So when you wake up by this 3 a.m., be the way you come into this world. What do I mean? Remove every wearable you are wearing on your body, including jewelries if you are a woman. Be the way that God brought you into this world and appear before your God and say, Oh God, the creator of the universe, that I come before you the same way you brought me into this world. That naked I came into this world and naked I appear before you. You first of all, thank God, I say, I thank you for making me alive and helping me to grow, not sure, and be this level I am today. I also ask for forgiveness that even if there is any spot, wrinkle, or sin in my life that is making me to feel this way, to have this problem, to be passing through this, that I have done everything I know humanly possible. Every spiritual work, I have done it. Every prayer, I have done it. I have made this man of God do this and that, yet this situation is like this. Please, Father, forgive me. But today, I come before you the same way I come into this world. Then when you have said that you stand barefoot there, mix this salt, get some salt, this is salt, this is sand, mix it together. You get the quantity that you need, something like a kind of, um, no more than seven spoons of salt, and then no more than a handful of sand, you mix it together, pour it on the ground, and stand on that salt and uh, sand. Before you even do that, make sure you have put water down that you are going to be using to bet 
one full bucket of water, but it will be in the morning. I will tell you what to do about it. There is one thing you need to do, know that this earth is laid on water and the 90% of our body is composed of water. That is why water bath a kind of gives us a certain liberation because it is a kind of connection or platform through which the spiritual are connects to physical. And most of the problem we are passing through are spiritually projected and manipulated. So doing baths help to bridge those spiritual manipulation and give us physical liberation. So don't be bothered about every time bath, bath. It's very, very important. So the same way you bet every day to take care of your body, you can actually spiritualize all your bath. And believe me, you'll be living a victorious life. So having done that, keeping your water by the side, mixing salt and sand, pour those salt and sand and stand on it. And then when you stand on it and you begin to pray and say, God, that if it is human being you created with sand just like me, that is responsible for this my shadlessness, that is responsible for this my problem, you know what you are going through, this my delay in marriage, this my lack of getting my paper, this evil voices I'm hearing, this movement in my body, that the only way this woman be will be free if if he's not made from sand and if he or she has not eaten salt. But as I stand on this salt and, and, and salt today, there are many of them that, are, that have contact with this salt and sand, they are all under my feet and whatever they have done, today it has been neutralized. Today, uh, it has been rendered useless. As I have made useless, this sand and salt is now a waste. I will not even use it for anything. So, is whatever they have done become a waste. And I pray that as I read Psalm 109, let everything printed in this sand, this is your word, it's not my word, begin to be replicated in their lives. That wherever they are, they will not have peace until they confess all they have done or they will repent completely and stop doing anything but any further they do the same way i trample on this sword and sand that is the same way they will be trampled on this earth and and get out of this earth with their trace and even if it is any spirit force or power that is behind my problem because every spirit every power every force is also operating in this earth they also have contact with sand so long as i have stepped feet on the sand all of them are under my feet and from today all their powers and their holes on me are loosed permanently and i am liberated forever then when you have prayed it fervently, you start reading Psalm 109 immediately and say, God, may this psalm as I read it, he say, blessed are those that read the word of this covenant aloud. Let every word of this covenant be fulfilled today in my life and the life of my enemies. That all the positive aspects will work for me, but all the negative will work against all those powers and those that have vowed that they will not see me achieve this. You know those things you wish to achieve, you are not seeing that today, that all this psalm will help me and win this battle. You begin to read. Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayers. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Sit down a wicked man over them and let Satan stand at their right hand. You know, they say over him, you can be generalizing it like them. That's multiple people in case more than one or two people are responsible for what you are going through. They have rewarded me evil for good and the hatred for my love. Sit down the wicked man over there and let Satan stand at their right hand. When they shall be judged, let them be condemned and let their prayer become sin. If let their days be few and let another take their office. Let their children be fatherless and their wife a widow. Let their children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread out of their desolate places. Let their extortion and cash all that they had and let the strangers spoil their labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto them. Neither let there be any to favor their fatherless children. Let their posterity be cut off and in generation following let their name be brought out. Let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered be remembered with the Lord and let not the sin of their mothers be breathed out. Let them be before the Lord continually that they may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because that they remember not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart, as the love cause, let it be upon them, as they delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from them, as they clothed themselves with cursing, like as with his garment, let it come up into their bows like water, and like oil into their bows, let it be unto them as garment which covereth them, and forget the wherewith it 
gathered continually. Let this be the word of my adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good. Deliver thou me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declared, I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my prayer flesh for light of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them. When they look upon me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Oh, save me according to thy mercy. Let them know that this is thy hand, for thy Lord has done it. Let them cause, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed. And let thy servant rejoice. Let, them, let my adversaries be clothed with shame. And let them cover themselves with their own confusion as... With a mantle, I will greatly praise the Lord. With my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the post to save him from those that condemn his soul. So when you are praying, you begin to thank God. I say, thank you because this word has found expression in the life of all my enemies, all the people that is responsible for this thing I am going through, that today I am free. I am delivered. I am fine. I have gotten this thing that I'm looking for. You know what it is? I've gotten this money that I needed for this business. I, I am going to be pregnant for my own child. I have gotten my own spouse. I have. You know what I have, you are searching for? You begin to thank God. Then when you have done that, get original honey. Use your right middle finger and get out this honey. Put it in your palm. Make sure that it touch all your destiny lines. And then begin to rub it and begin to pray and say from today. Because every energy coming from the cosmos a coming from all over this world as summarizing your path that from today that this my life will be full of sweetness this hand will count on countable money this hand will receive every good thing that i wish everything i lay hand to do will prosper i will no longer suffer from sorrow again anything that makes me unhappy is departed from my life forever. The way you have done that very well, then go to that bucket of water you used to bet I told you to fetch. You put your right middle finger, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times you drop it, seven, you drop it, no matter how little is entering in that water, then turn that water and pray that as you bat this water, that all these problems is batted away. You keep that water, bet it anytime you are ready to bet in the morning, you can use your soap, no problem for this one. Then you get broom and sweep out that sand and the salt that you are standing on uh, with spaka. That as I sweep this out, that so have I sweep all my problem, believing that as I stand on this salt to make this prayer today, that every problem that I am passing through, every voice, every a, a kind of sorrows, every issues that is bothering me is drained out of my body and that because I am made of sand, they have entered into the sand and I am free. And there you see, oh God, is says the son of man just said to us, we are free indeed, that today I am free from this problem. You pack that particular salt and sand and keep it aside to throw it away in the morning. If you can go out that time, it's okay. And then put back your clothes. Go back to sleep if you have not woken for the day. By God's grace, you will have dream that early morning. By the time you wake up, you wake up like somebody that the burden is lifted from and you will see your life blossoming in, in another dimension. You can actually do this prayer consecutively three days and wash by God's grace. Every yoke around you will be broken. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video, believing that someone has actually found value. If you're one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not done so, hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and channel to everyone. we will actually be helping a lot of people. As you do so, may God bless you. Honor you and cause you to ride upon the high places of this earth. Still your lady Jenny saying bye-bye.